mood. Alrighty, I have a really quick update for you guys today on Yukon Striker and Frontier Canada. So all the signs um, have been added to Yukon Striker by the looks of it, guiding you to where fast lane is, um, the height requirements, the max height, and the theming in the station. And uh, I must say, it looks like all the theming has finally been added to Yukon Striker as well. Um, you can see in the queue line that they've added a lot more attention to detail with little um, gadgets and uh, bits all through the state uh, queue line, not station. But it looks absolutely amazing. The water's running on the water tower, but that has been running for a couple days now. Um, and uh, Frontier Canada is looking absolutely amazing. So I am hearing it's going to open with Splashworks. Um, hopefully, maybe it opens sooner, but it doesn't look like it. They're still working on the mess hall, but man, do these colors pop and does it remind me of the Yukon area. So for those of you who don't know, um, the Yukon area is known for its very colorful buildings and boy did they bring that to life in Frontier Canada. They are re-theming the Splashworks building which is exactly what I asked for and I'm super excited about that and um, grass and uh, dirt has been laid down. It looks absolutely amazing. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot more rock work. I'm really liking the rock work all along Yukon or sorry, Frontier Canada. Wow, it's convincing me so much that it's Yukon that I'm calling it Yukon. Um, but definitely loving the colors. I'm loving the signs. Um, as you're going to see soon, it looks like they're even had people from Cedar Fair visiting and there's some changes that are going to be made that you'll see in a bit. Um, and uh, it was really cool. Yesterday, I got to ride with uh, an official from B&M on Yukon Striker on the same train. So it, it looks like the head of mechanical engineering was riding on the same train, which is super cool. I'm super excited about that. But this is one of those changes. So Miner's Cafe was ready to go. It had its sign done and everything. Um, I believe I'm not mistaken. And it looks like some last minute changes were made. So they've added a new permanent fence to hide like what could be a garbage area. They brought in, I don't know if Miner's Cafe was around. Um, that storage building before, but they brought in a uh, storage building and it looks like they're going to turn it into a, um, a new kind of building for Miner's Cafe. So I don't know if that was a last minute decision um, or change, but it looks like it, in my opinion. Orbiter's Land is now got fresh sod and trees planted. It looks much better. The speakers are working. The lamp posts are in um, and the uh, teasers for next season are already placed. I'm kidding. It's not a teaser. Um, it's um, an old piece of kind of theming from the old Orbiter's plot of land, um, which is super cool that they left it there just for that little, I guess, um, <laughs> nod to World Expo and uh, the theming that Orbiter had back in the Taft area. The um, Yukon Striker store um, is looking absolutely amazing. I love all the theming in there, honestly. Um, and as weird as this is going to sound, I really like the smell in there. It just reminds me of that kind of old era for uh, Frontier Canada in the 1890s. Again, I'm not from there, I'm not that old, um, but it just gives me that vibe that I am from that era and it just reminds me of it. Super excited. The merchandise, it's not, not all out yet. So again, there, from what I'm hearing, there is more merch coming, more shirt designs. They're still being rolled out, so stay tuned for that. Um, but other than that, I'm really impressed by Frontier Canada. Even the Dip and Dots stand is themed. Um, so this is gonna be super exciting when it opens. You know I'm gonna be there filming an update for you guys. Um, but yeah, absolutely loving what Cedar Fair is doing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this really quick update on the new theming and work going on in Frontier Canada. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned for more updates. Have a good one, guys. Bye.